Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, what you see here, everything is from Amazon. We're doing an LED off-road lighting setup for the Jeep. So let's unbox all these things, show you what I got, and put them on the Jeep. I think it's gonna look really good. So first thing, we got the lights right here. So here we have the lights themselves, comes with hardware, and then here are the actual lights. As you can see, I went with an amber lens, mostly because I thought it would look cool with the blue Jeep. Uh, I won't use these too much, so I went with what would look best. These are about three inches in diameter, and I think they'll look really good. So let's show you what mounts we got. All right, so I got these mounts for the Jeep Wrangler TJ. They go on the side of the hood, kind of like on the windshield. So I'll install these, show you guys how they look. And then finally we have our wiring harness, which includes an inline fuse, an on and off switch, and all the wires that you need to wire up off-road lighting. So these mounts will go right here. And I chose these because they're really low key. It's slim and sleek. So you gotta take out these bolts here and put in the new ones that they provide. All right, so in the directions that it supplies, it looks like the split washer goes here, and then the flat washer goes on the back side of this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so after a few tries of like mounting these up, I realized that this thread pattern, or this thread, that they supply is different than the factory ones. So I guess I have to go to the store and get bolts with different thread. All right, so we got the right size bolts. Not a huge deal. It is just pretty annoying to have to go get other bolts whenever they supply ones uh, and they're the wrong size. So we got the right size. Probably paint these black so they blend in a little better, but we're just gonna go ahead and install it. As you can see, got both sides in. Obviously, the other side was just a mirror of the first side. Uh, and they look, they look pretty good. Definitely, probably need to paint those black so they blend in. But overall, it looks real nice, slim, and pretty not noticeable, in my opinion. So now let's go ahead and get out the lights and mount those up. Now, the reason why I went with these lights, I already said that they will look good against this blue, I think, with the amber lens, but also they're pretty inexpensive, uh, like about $50 a piece, they'll be in the description. And they're not too big, you know, this is basically a stock Jeep. Uh, and I didn't want to get too big of a light to make it look out of place. So we're gonna go ahead, install this, see how it looks. Okay, so we got the lights sort of in place, not perfect yet, just kind of in place for now. And now for the wiring, these are Nylite brand, I guess, from Amazon, pretty inexpensive. Leave a link in the description. Comes with this wiring harness diagram. And it's the whole harness, it has inline fuses, everything you need right here, including the switch. Um, and I think it looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and wire it up. All right, so as you can see, I took off this front cowl piece so I can get the wires in there and uh, feed them through so they're out of the way, you can't see them. And what's really cool about this wiring diagram is obviously if you get lights, they'll probably have ends like this, where it's, you know, just exposed wire or whatever. What's cool about this wiring harness is that it comes with pieces to connect it because these ones already have these connectors on it. So it comes with these connectors so you can put these on there and then connect it really easily. It makes it super simple. So I went ahead and wired it up the rest of the way off camera just because it's pretty simple. Basically, you do red wire to red wire, black wire to black wire on both sides. And then the red wire with the fuse goes to the positive on the battery. The black wire goes to the negative. Then you got your switch down here and turn the switch on and the lights turn on just like that. And you can hear this relay clicking every time you do it, which is a good sign. 
So now the only thing to do is to hide the wires, find a way to route this somewhere into the interior, uh, and that should be it. So lucky for me, it's actually easier than I thought to route that little switch through the firewall. I got this cleaned up a little bit. Looks pretty nice. Haven't really cleaned up this part. I'll do that probably last. But for the switch, I was trying to see, whenever I bought this car, I had an upgraded sound system and subs already installed. So it has all these speaker wires going through it. So I looked down at this wire. It's the most obvious one on the inside. So this wire goes right through there and I popped it right out pretty easily. As you can see, right up there, obviously it's hard to see, but that's where it is. Just go ahead and drill a little hole in that little grommet and run the uh, switch wires through. And then we'll mount it somewhere, probably somewhere pretty low key. Uh, and then it'll be pretty much finished. All right, so I got my switch wires through, got the grommet back in. And what's really cool about this switch is that it's made to fit right into a cigarette lighter outlet thing. So as you can see, as you can see, it fits in perfectly. You just put it in and boom, it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece off, take out that little thingy, and then run the wires to it, and then it'll be done. But after a little bit of modification, you can see that this no longer has a backing. You did a little cut it right off and this little switch will fit right in it. All right, got everything buttoned back up and they are in place, leveled, let me know what you guys think in the comments, how they look. I think they look really nice. You can see the switch is right down there, super clean, out of the way, right there. If I hit it, it lights up and the lights light up. So just like that, off, off, on. But you guys probably don't want it to see it in the garage, so let's switch to a better environment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little install video of these lights. They look really good, really sleek. Uh, they're small, which is kind of what I wanted. They might be a little too small for a few of you guys' uh, tastes, but it's basically a stock, stock Jeep. I didn't want to go too big with the lights. I think those, that looks kind of funny. So I really like the color. Uh, the quality is really good, besides those bolts not being the correct thread. Other than that, these are really nice. Uh, all of the products that I use will be linked in the description. They're all on Amazon. And they're all really good quality, so I definitely recommend you guys check them out. These lights would be a good setup for like a double light setup on each side, you know. I think that would look really nice. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you, if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.